Oh, <laughs> baby. Quick dive, boys. Quick Woo. dive, let's go. Aye, aye. Aye. That's a proper stallion, dude. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Tok and this is my friend Porcus. Today we're going for a spooky sketchy dive. Pretty standard in these waters, nothing new to you guys. But if you've never been here before, we're pretty dumb. Yeah. <laughs> but we got anyway and it was successful. So come along for that journey. It's a good one. Hopefully get a fish. Woo. Loading up the timberline. I headed out and at this point I actually thought the water was pretty clear but soon as you got out there the mist started coming in and right from the get-go the shark put me on edge at this point we had to decide whether to go in or to go further out to so sea this isn't perfect but we can still shoot, shoot out to suicide if you want okay let's go. go we decided that we weren't scared so we headed out did the long swim and eventually found the reef in the mist. As you can hear, the reef was buzzing. All that crackling, you know that there's fish around. And this was confirmed on my first descent. I got to the reef and it was full of life. But little did I know, there was nothing in sight. The water was too cold for a game fish or something like that. So I had to change my tactics and look out for some reef fish. And soon after that, a beautiful South African fish came my way. This is actually the national fish of South Africa, the Khalyun. As they do, it came from out of sight and suddenly appeared in front of me. If you didn't see it there, don't worry, Porcus will get one for you. At this moment, I knew that we were both getting a fish today. The water was just right. That sun's going. With the sun chasing us, we had to make things quick. And just as the sun was setting, the reef started turning up. As you'll see here, two big Khoyun come from my left. This dive, I decided not to take them. I felt like there was something bigger around. As you can see, the light's disappearing in the water. It's getting a bit harder. There's not much to see. And suddenly, there was something to see. With a good shot in the fish, I knew I could just pull it back to the surface. Call Porcus over, because at this point I'm worried about sharks. The sun is going, there's blood in the water, and I'm all alone. Aye, aye. Aye. <laughs> oh, baby, that's a stump of a shore dive. Got a stump. Yeah. Sorry, check it out. Aye. It's nothing huge. Fish. Oh, for sure now, I'm stoked. Yeah. We've only got like 10 minutes, 15 minutes here. Yeah. At this point, I was just making a beeline home. This water was dark. I had a fish in my hands that was full of blood. Yeah, I was not sticking around. So I made my mission back here. But I didn't expect it to be as rough as it actually was. The swell had jacked up, and getting back in through the gully that we came out was quite a challenge. But to add to that challenge, it was not only the swell that I was trying to throw you around, but it was the water pulling out. The tide had changed, and now it was just sucking out of this gully. It was absolute torture. But eventually, I made it in through this tunnel of torture, and I was able to get to shore. Yeah. Whew. The sun's gone. 
and I got myself a fish. Pretty stoked with this. I've been saying I want a stump of a shore dive. I want a Miss Lucy of a shore dive. And it finally happened. <sighs> Black. Okay, let's get this guy cleaned up and ready to eat. Black could be just that some back in the tough, eh? <laughs> That's a proper chalion, dude. Well, you can't really see anything, so, and we're just comparing sides at this point. So, might as well just talk about Porcus and how good of a dive he is, and how good of a dive buddy he is, and I think how good of a YouTuber he'll be. So, he's thinking of starting a YouTube channel. So, as soon as he drops his first video, I will shout him out and send you guys his way. Yeah, here's him doing his first intro. I'm sure he's going to get this video out soon. Cool, check him out. <laughs> going to show me the way. Yeah. What's Good your name? Job. What's your name gonna be? Porcus. Porcus. See. Shout you out Hello. when you're there. Yeah. See it? Well done. Bye. Sure. <laughs> Talking about shout outs. This is the legend himself, Rob Allen, shouting me out. Hi guys, welcome to another video. As you see, we have a mystery guest in this video, and uh, we're trying to help him boost his channel. So this is very different to our normal videos. Hope you enjoy it. How's it going guys? Just heading up to the dive factory, Rob Allen shop, and we're gonna go get myself some gear. I'm honestly pinching myself. It was such a cool experience to be with a legend of the spearfishing sport and to get an in-depth look at the business and how it works. I really enjoyed how they are inventing and developing spearfishing as a sport. It was such a good day and I was just treated so well. So thanks again, Rob. Thanks for shouting me out. But if you know anything about Rob Allen, you know that he lives in a place with incredible it's diving. It's just too easy, yeah. <laughs> so I didn't just go to the shop, I also went to the ocean. I've traveled from sunrise to sunset just to get in this water with this gun. This is where it was born, it's where I should use it. Let's go see how this thing shoots. Kind of big, wavy, scary KZN water. Sweet, I'll see you out there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun. The dab was insane. The trip to KZN was insane. So stick around guys. There's a lot more coming. All I can say is that I'm diving, I'm loving it, and I'm loving making YouTube videos for you guys. So, sweet. Subscribe. I'll see you at the next one.